guys welcome to back to my new youtube video on binary multiplier using ni multisim so before i simulate the multiplier using ni multisim i'll just give you an overview of how a 2 cross 2 binary multiplier works as the name suggests binary multiplier is nothing but the multiplication of binary numbers your 2 cross 2 or 4 cross 3 or 4 cross 4 decides how many bit numbers it is so if i'm telling it as a 2 cross 2 binary multiplier it means that you have two numbers each of two bit let me consider that I have two bits A as well as B. So A is having two bits. So it is A1, A0. And let me consider B is having two bits B1 and B0, where A1 and B1 are the corresponding MSB of your A and B, and A0 and B0 are the LSBs of A as well as B. Now, if you see as overall, you are having A1, A0, B1, B0, so totally four bits you are having. So the possible combinations is nothing but 2 power of 4, that is 16 combinations, right from 0, 0, 0, 0 till 1, 1, 1, 1, you are going to get the combinations. Now, 1, 1 of the number A corresponds to 3, 1, 1 of the number B corresponds to 3. When you multiply 3 cross 3, 3 into 3, you should get 9. The binary equivalent of 9 is 1001. So maximum is 4 bits you have to get. Let me say that the result what you are going to get is of 4 bit. So I'll name it as C4, C3, C2, C1. C4 is MSB and C1 is a LSB. And the result let me consider it as C. So now how the multiplication is done or what is the logic in you know uh, the diagram of this or simulation. So I have two numbers as I've already told A1, A0 and B1, B0 I have to multiply. So when you multiply you are doing A0 into B0. Then it is B0 into A1 or A1, B0. It is simple multiplication what you are doing B0 into A0 and B0 into A1. Similarly you are doing again B1 into A0, B1 into A1. So it is A0 into B1 and a1 into b1 so you are doing this finally you are going to get the result a0 b0 is nothing but c1 that is a result what you are going to get that is lsb now a1 b0 a0 b1 you are adding and you are getting the sum as c2 the sum after you get you will get the carry in case if the carry is generated that will be added with a1 and b1 which will give the result as c3 that is a sum as c3 and the carry from the same you are going to get as c4 over here so totally four bit numbers you are going to get it is similar to how you do the uh, calculations the decimal multiplication what you are doing let me assume that uh, say for example i am having the two numbers 23 into 23 so 3 3s are 9 3 2s are 6 2 3s are 6 2 2s are 4 9 6 plus 6 6 if you are seeing you are getting 12 so 1 carry then 1 plus 4 5 there is no carry that is 0 so this is nothing but your c1 c2 c3 and c3 and the last and the next one it is c3 and the last carry is nothing but c4 what is being generated now let us see uh, how it works over here or how many gates you need a0 b0 if you are seeing a1 b1 a0 b1 and a1 b1 are nothing but and operations which is performed in uh, you know digital electronics or digital logic so how many and gates you require four and gates you require so and gate you require four next if you see over here a1 b0 and a0 b1 are added so you need for addition you need one half adder circuit over here one half adder circuit so half adder now after getting the sum the carry which is generated from a c2 the sum the half adder addition of these two bit numbers so that will be added with a1 b1 so another half adder you need from here so second half adder you need and finally the carry is c4 so the number of half adders what you need is two so with this we will build the circuit in ni multisim in ni multisim first we will place the component place component under that we will go for ttl so since we need four and gates i will go for 74 ls underscore ic in ic of 7408 you are having four and gates so i will place it over here next time as i told you that i need two half adder circuit so it is found under miscellaneous digital in this if you cannot find just type half adder you will directly get it over here so i will place two half adder circuits then to give the inputs i need either one or zero to give the inputs i'll go for sources under sources digital sources 
and under that interactive digital constant a1 for a1 i need one then a0 then b1 and one more is for b0 i'll give it over here and to power up the ic i need vcc and ground so in sources i'll have power sources then i need vcc so vcc and one more it is ground so i need ground i'll place it over here to display the result i need indicator so under group i check for indicators in indicators you have dcd hex so i'll select this for output then for to display the inputs i'll have a and b another two displays now all the components are placed over here now it is only the connections so if you see this ic you are having 1a 1b is the first and gate 2a 2b 3a 3b and 4a 4b so totally four and gates are used so what is the first operation we are doing that is a not b not that is and operation so to be uh, again to make it simple instead of a4 i'll name it as a1 then u5 as a not then u6 as b1 and u7 as b0 then 1a it is first operation is a0 b0 so a0 i'll connect it to 1a then b0 i'll connect it over here the second net after that output i'll leave as it is we'll see later so next it is a1 b0 i have to do a1 i'm connecting it to 2a b0 to 2b next it is a not b1 so 3a is a not b1 a not and 3b is b1 i'll connect it over here next it is a1 b1 a1 i'll connect it to 4b and 4a i'll connect it to it is a1 b1 so b1 i'll connect it over here so connections are done for AND gate then I need to have a ground then I need to have a VCC which is connected next I what have to do A1 B0 that is the second AND gate and A0 B1 I have to add together so second AND gate that is 2Y I am connecting it to A and third output that is 3Y I am connecting it to B next the sum which is given that is nothing but c2 so this will be c2 which i am connecting over here that is c2 if you see the hex display your leftmost side will be your msb rightmost side will be your lsb what is c1 over here it is a0 b0 which is output from the first and gate so i'll directly connect it over here so that is c1 c2 is done next it is c3 c3 is nothing but the sum from the second half adder from the second half header it is c3 next last the that is c4 is nothing but the carry out from the second half header so carry out from the second half header is c4 now the carry which is generated from the first half header is given as input to the second half header as i have already told you so this will be the second half header next one more input it is a0 b1 that is nothing but a1 b1 so that is nothing but 4y that is from the last and gate so all the connections are done except for the input signal for input signal i can instead of directly connecting and increasing the number of connections over there what i can do is that i can place a on play uh, on page connector so go to place connector on page connector i am having a1 so i'll connect over here then again place on page connector again i will do it as a not a not then copy paste i can have b1 and b not so b1 next it is b not so b not i have connected over here once it is done next what i have to do I have to place the same connector over here it means that both are the same connections so a1 then a0 so a1 then it is a0 similarly b1 
then b0 b1 and b0 b1 and b0 now if you see the hex display for the two numbers your numbers are of two bits but you have four bit display over here so the first two bits or the ms the first two msbs are of no use to you so what we do is that we directly ground it since the numbers what we have taken is a two bit binary number if it was a four bit then all the four bits of the display will be used since it is not there we will short it and give it to zero now a1 a0 and b1 b0 will connect b1 and b0 and a0 and a1 so all the connections are done now it is only giving the combination and checking the output so let us run the simulation so 0 0 0 0 so the two numbers are 0 you are going to get it as 0 the first number i'll change it to 1 so it is changed to 1 and the second number is 0 output is 0 next let me do all 1 1 which means the first number is 3 the second number is 3 you are going to get the result as 9 now let us see the first number i will make it as 1 0 which is nothing but 2 the second number as 3 you are going to get the result as 6 now the second number i will do it as again 1 0 so both are 2 you are going to get 4 now let me say that i will make the second number as 1 and the first number as also 1 0 1 so 1 1 1 so this is how you do the simulation for a 2 cross 2 binary multiplier you can extend this uh, to 4 cross 4 4 cross 3 multiplier also but again uh, the circuit size will increase that's it there is no difference in the logic uh, i hope you have liked this video uh, thank you for watching this video if you like please share comment as well as subscribe thank you